and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our new set, Just Add Glitter, and its coordinating dies. So let's go ahead and check it out. This set features our adorable mice. They are so cute and they are ready to get crafty. So they are both wearing aprons. We have two facing each other. And then we have these cute accessories for them. So we have a ruler, a pair of scissors, some glue. We have an ink pad, of course. We also have a little thing of tape. We have some glitter and some sparkles that are the glitter that can fall out of the container. A little bottle of paint or anything else you might be using in your craft room. Some twine a pencil and a paintbrush and of course they have their table and chairs and the table and chairs is so cute i wish i had them for real life in my craft room because they are just adorable and so much fun to color in we also have a stack of paper we have a cute little card that can be portrait or landscape depending on what you need for your design we have an envelope open with a letter coming out and also a closed envelope then we have some cute things that can go into those different papers. So we have this adorable little heart and then we have some great phrases. So we have thanks, we have happy bee day and you can see how that could fit on any of those cute cards. We have love you, hi there, and of course an adorable smiley face. And here's a look at how you can add the smiley face to one of those cards. This set has some great sentiments. We have when in doubt, just add glitter. My personal favorite, which is we are cut out to be friends. Hope your day sparkles. Be creative. We have I made this just for you. And also I arted, which always makes me laugh. Now we're gonna use some Copic markers to color in these adorable images. And I love using lots of different shades of brown for these mice, and this time I'm using the E50s, and they're so cute. And these mice are so much fun to color in because it's fun to coordinate their aprons with your card. So if you're using a pattern paper or a certain color scheme, or you know the recipient's favorite color, you can color in their little aprons like that. And so this time I'm gonna color them in with some cute little orange aprons. One of the things that I love about all of our mice sets is that you can mix and match the different mice. So these mice are so cute and you can imagine how you could add other mice from our collection into these cute crafting scenes. Um, I particularly love the one with overalls from Very Special to add into this because it's almost like he's got overalls on to do some cute crafting and painting. I love being able to create cards for my crafty friends, but the cards turn out really cute for anybody because the cute little scenes with them in the table and chairs is just adorable. You can also imagine how you could even use the table and chairs for other things, like them eating food with lots of the little tiny food images we have in other stamp sets too. You can see that I've been coloring in all of the different accessories with a fun little kind of rainbow color palette. That's one of the things I love about this stamp set is that you can add a ton of bright and happy color to it, and it's really fun to coordinate all of the accessories to the color palette of your card. Next up, we're gonna move on to coloring the tables and chairs. And this is so much fun because you can color the craft room furniture of your dreams with this, right? You can really have fun. You can also coordinate it to your color palette of your car, just like we talked about the aprons with the mice or all the cute little accessories. So in this case, I'm doing this fun kind of darker teal and then this really pretty kind of woodsy brown. And it has kind of like a 70s feel to it, which I think is really fun. And coloring in this table is just awesome. Now, if you wanted to do a quick and easy version, you can actually just stamp it and just add a little bit bit of a light gray around the edges and it would be this really cool white table as well. Now I'm adding some color to the pieces of paper. You can see there I added a little yellow around the smiley face. I saw Elena did that in a card and it looks so cute and it's such a fun way to kind of decorate the fronts of those different little card images for your set. Now these are the coordinating dies which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. You can take those dies, line them up with your stamped images, hold them in place with some low tack tape, run it through your die cut machine, and you'll have perfectly cut out images every time. And then here is a look at all of the images from the set. I love all the cute, tiny little crafting items. It's so adorable, it's so much fun. And here you can see how you can mix and match these images. So you can put the cute little mice in the chairs, you can have the sparkles coming out of the glitter, and then you can layer all of those different things onto the table. You can also have the mice hold things like the paintbrush or the scissors, or the glue or the pencil, even the ink pad too, right? And you can layer all the cute little items below. So we're going to start off by creating a card and we're recreating this gorgeous card by Elena and what's really fun about creating cards for this is that you can kind of create your own special craft room. So that's what we're going to do here and I wanted to have some striped wallpaper. So this is our skinny striped stencil. There's a horizontal and also a diagonal. We're going to use the diagonal. We have some vanilla malt cardstock and also some sugar cookie ink which is a really really light ink and I'm just going to lightly ink blend that on through the stencil. 
When I use this skinny stripe stencil, I always like to spray the back with a bit of pixie spray. It gives a little bit of tackiness to the back and makes it super easy to ink blend these nice skinny little stripes. So now we're gonna peel up that stencil and look how gorgeous this is. I love that it kind of looks like an aged wallpaper. Next up, we're gonna be taking out the largest of the stitched rectangle frames and we're gonna die cut that from some white cardstock. We're also gonna create a ground for our table and this is going to be two and a half inches tall by four and a quarter wide because this is a standard size card. So this is gonna become our ground. Now this Just Dad glitter stamp set has the cutest sentiments in this and they are so awesome and you could have used any of them with this card, but Elena created her own custom sentiment and I thought it was just too cute so I decided to use it for this card too. And so here we have some Henry's ABC's dies and we die cut that from some watercolor wishes pattern paper and then we're gonna ink the edges with some mermaid ink just to give it like a cool ink blended look. It makes it really easy to ink the edge just a little bit when you start off with that watercolor wishes paper that already has that fun watercolor look to it. Then we're going to take some tape runner to that floor piece and we're going to attach that down on the bottom of the card. Now to help create the scene I want to make sure I put the frame on first because I don't want stuff going underneath the frame at all. So I'm going to take some of these awesome skinny little foam strips here and put them all around this frame so that we'll have this nice popped up frame so it almost looks like we have a little shadow box and we're looking into the scene. We'll peel up that liner paper and then we're gonna attach that frame down. And now you can see that we already have this really cool craft room being created. Next, I'm gonna build from the bottom up because that way I'll know exactly how much space I have for my cute crafting scene. So we're gonna start with the last part of our sentiment, which are these die cut letters that are gonna say art. And the whole saying is gonna be, I love you with all my art, which is such a cute and adorable phrase. So we're gonna take out the Let's So stamp set and it has, I love you with all my tart in it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stamp the, I love you with all my. We're just gonna kind of selectively ink it. I'm being really careful to not ink up that last word. And then we can just stamp that right onto the white cardstock. And then we're going to use our paper trimmer just to trim that out. And then we can layer that piece right onto the card. And I really love the look of that white rectangle on top of the white space. I don't know why, but I just think it looks so beautiful. Um, and I love the look of sentiments where you have part of it stamped and part of it with die cut letters. So here we have the Just Add Glitter stamp set and we're going to stamp, color, and die cut a bunch of images from the set. And that's what's really fun with this. I die cut and stamped a bunch. I didn't end up using all of it and just knowing that I could use them for other cards. Now for the table and chairs, we're going to add some foam squares on the back. I'm going to start by putting the table in the center and then we're going to put our chairs right around it. And now you can kind of see how we have our floor at the bottom and then our really fun wallpaper at the top. Next, we're gonna add the mice into the chairs. And oh my gosh, look how cute this is. I just love them sitting in those little chairs. And now we can start to add all of the crafty items. I started by adding something to the table, but then I realized I wanted to put some images down below. And so I wanted to see which ones would look best down below. And then I could add the rest to that tabletop. So I'm just adding some tape runner to the back of the papers and just kind of layering things on the back and in the front of them. And look how cute that is. It's gonna surround the words art. And so I'm just gonna take a bunch of those different images and add those on there. One of the things I love with this set is how it reminds me of little miniatures, like from dollhouses. My grandmother loved working with miniatures and creating dollhouses, and it just reminds me of that. There's just something so fun about creating your own little crafty scene. So we're gonna add some glitter there, some more pieces of cardstock up at the top. I don't know about you guys, when, when I craft, it is very messy. So you can put stuff on the floor, you can put stuff on the table, there can be stuff just everywhere, and it's gonna look even more realistic. Now, Elena did something really fun to create the rest of her room, and she added a picture frame on there. And a lot of the girls on the design team love using this picture frame from Den Sweet Den, but it says Den Sweet Den in it. So it's a little bit hard to mask it off. And so I wanted to show you a different way to kind of alter your stamp. So I'm actually gonna take an X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut out the words Den Sweet Den. The cool thing about this is that you can now use the frame with the words or without the words, and it was really, really easy to do. I am not great with an X-Acto knife, and it was really easy. So if you wanna stamp it with Den Sweet Den, you can just pop that right back in and stamp it that way, almost like a little puzzle. Or now we can stamp the picture frame with nothing on the inside, which means you could put lots of cute things in there. You could have hearts, smiley faces, cute images from other sets. And in this case, we're going to be using the scissors from this set, and look how adorable that looks. So I'm gonna add some color to that and and die cut it. And now we're gonna have a cute picture frame for your wall. So don't be scared. Take out your stamps, get a little creative with them. You can always use your X-Acto knife or you can mask it with some post-it note tape and stamp it that way too. 
Next, I'm gonna take a white gel pen and just add a little bit of detail around the letters. I always love the look of white gel pen on die cut letters because it makes them look almost like three dimensional. Here is a standard size card base. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. We'll add some tape runner onto that and then we can add our whole scene on top. Now the card is all done and I can't tell you how much fun these Just Add Glitter cards are to create. I just love creating my own little craft room and having that fun punny sentiment. The whole thing is so sweet and so much fun. And next up, we're going to take this craft room and we're gonna put it in a platform pop-up. So here I have some really rainbow pattern paper and there's this gorgeous large rainbow stripe. We're gonna take our platform pop-up and we're gonna die cut them from this stripe. And I'm gonna die cut them one after the other so that the colors of the rainbow extend through both of them. So here you'll see our first piece and then we're just gonna shift that die down and then we're gonna die cut the rest of the rainbow. Next, we're gonna take the T-shaped piece of a platform pop-up and we're gonna die cut that three times from some white cardstock. And if you've never made a platform pop-up before, make sure to check out our intro to platform pop-up video where we go through all of the steps really slowly. We'll link that in the description below. Right now I'm folding along all of the score lines that the die created for me on this main platform pop-up piece. Next we're going to take one of those T-shaped pieces and there's a little score line at the very bottom of the T-shaped piece. We're going to fold along that score line. Next up we're going to take some quarter inch double sided tape and we're going to add it to that very bottom tab on the main piece and at the very bottom of our T-shaped piece. We'll flip that main piece over and we're gonna take the T-shaped piece, flip it over and feed it right through that slot. And you'll see when you do that, it kinda hits that edge right there. Then we're gonna fold along that first big score line. We're gonna peel up the liner paper and then we're gonna pull on that T-shaped tab so it's nice and flush and then we're gonna press down securing it. We'll peel up the liner paper on the next piece of tape and then we're gonna fold along that next big score line and just attach that right down. So you'll see it's almost like a little stair step fold. Now that we've done one of those, we're gonna do the same thing with another one. We're gonna fold along all of the score lines on that main platform pop-up piece. And then we're also gonna fold that little score line at the bottom of the T-shaped piece. We're gonna do the exact same steps that we did before. Then we'll take out some quarter inch double-sided tape and we're gonna add that to the tab at the very bottom of the main piece and underneath the score line on the T-shaped piece. We'll take the main piece and flip it over then we're also gonna flip over the T-shaped piece and feed it through the slot. We're gonna fold along that first big score line, and then we're going to remove the liner paper on the adhesive on the T-shaped piece. We're gonna pull along that piece, making sure that the T-shaped piece is nice and flush with the edge, just like that, and then we can secure it down. We're gonna peel up the liner paper on that tab, and then we're gonna fold along that next big score line, kind of like a little step up. We're gonna fold that tab under and attach it right onto the piece. And now we have another three-dimensional piece that's the exact same as the other one, but we have the cool kind of rainbow differences between the two of them. We're gonna take our third T-shaped piece, we're gonna fold along the score line, and then we're gonna take our scissors and we're just gonna trim off that excess. And this doesn't have to be perfect because no one's ever gonna see the bottom of that. We're gonna add our quarter inch double-sided tape along the bottom part of the T-shaped piece. We'll peel that up and then we're gonna attach it to one of the pieces and we're just gonna eyeball it, lining it up with the other T-shaped piece that's already in that platform pop-up piece. Next, we're gonna take some double-sided adhesive and we're gonna add it to this piece here on the other side, the one that doesn't have the second T. And I always like to add three pieces to make sure it's nice and secure. I'm also gonna add some tape to the outside of the tabs that are on the right-hand side of both of those platform pop-up pieces. Next, we're gonna be attaching these pieces to create one long piece. So we're gonna peel up the liner paper on one of the tabs, and then I'm just gonna push them up against each other, kind of butt them up against each other, making sure they're nice and flush and that those scallops line up perfectly, and then I can flip that tab over and adhere it in place. Then we'll peel up the liner paper on the piece on the left-hand side there, and then what we're gonna do is fold it in half, lining up those two base pieces together, adhering them in place. We'll remove the liner paper on that last tab, we can then tuck it on the inside and that's gonna attach our two pieces together creating our really cool interactive mechanism. So all you need to do is just push up from the bottom and you'll see that we have this really cool 3D place that is gonna become our craft room floor for our cute just add glitter characters and little crafty pieces. To create the walls for our craft room, we're gonna take the platform pop-up add-on die and we're gonna die cut that same really rainbow paper, this time kind of focusing on the blues and the purples. 
This die also creates some score lines for you, so we're going to fold along those two score lines there. And then we're going to work on cutting some hills. The platform pop-up die comes with both a grass and a hill, and so we're going to use the hill to be the ground for our craft room. And I'm going to be die cutting that out of the really rainbow paper as well to kind of coordinate with the floor. So I'll do the pink one for the front, kind of like a yellow or an orange for the center. You can see I'm kind of comparing to see what's going to look nicest. And then we'll do a blue for a back, just so that there's kind of like a nice little continuum of this whole rainbow idea. Next we're going to flip those hills over and we're going to add eighth inch double sided adhesive along the very bottom and back of all of these hill pieces. We're also going to do the same thing for the add-on. We're going to flip it over and add the eighth inch tape at the back and the very bottom of that piece. Next, we're going to peel up the liner paper on the hill pieces and we're going to attach them onto those T-shaped tab pieces we put into the platform pop-up. And they are a perfect lineup for those. So it's just going to cover it right up and create this really cool kind of little hill floor for our scene. And so I'll do that with all three of them, continuing my cute little rainbow order that's going on. Our next step is to add our walls. So we're going to peel up the liner paper on that platform pop-up add-on, and you'll see that those score lines line up perfectly with the shape of the platform pop-up. So all you need to do is just kind of drop it right in against the floor. Once it's flush against that floor, you can just push along the edges and adhere that in place. And now we have our really cute rainbow craft room that is just adorable. Next, we're going to take out the Just Add Glitter stamp set, and I went ahead and stamped, colored, and die cut a bunch of images from the set. And this time, we have hot pink chairs and a white table, and that's kind of like what I was saying at the very beginning of the video. You can add just a little bit of gray or maybe a little bit of a very light blue, and you'll have a really simple table that looks adorable. So we're going to add that table right into the center piece, and then we're going to add the chairs right around it. And this will kind of help us then decide where everything else is going to go in our cute craft room. Then we'll add one of those adorable little mice right into the chair. And then I'm going to take an idea from some of the design team girls. Oh my gosh, they used the shelf from Perfectly Wicked, which is actually a Halloween set, but this little shelf is perfect for any indoor scenes. And we're going to use that as a shelf for our cute little rainbow craft room that we're creating. Um, and then I went ahead and stamped and colored a rainbow array of these cute little paint bottles. And look how fun this is. Oh my gosh, I just love it. And it really kind of ties in the whole rainbow theme of this card too. So I went ahead and just kind of lined up my bottles to make sure that they would fit. I'm going to add two of the bottles at the end just to help me with placement of the shelf and then I'll go ahead and add the rest of the bottles later because it was a little hard to add the bottles to the shelf when it wasn't attached to the card just yet. So we'll add some tape runner to the back of that shelf and then I'm going to layer that on the back wall. And so once again it's going to tie in the rainbow idea and also just kind of fill in their wall and really make it look like this cute little miniature room that we're creating. I'm going to add the rest of my rainbow paint bottles and then of course we'll add our other cute little mouse into the chair. And this time they have green aprons which I think looks really really adorable and helps bring in the rainbow in the room all together. Now, next up, we're going to start taking our cute little crafty items and adding them. So I wanted these little mice to be holding some of the items. So the one on the left is holding some scissors, and the one on the right is holding some glue. We're going to be using the We're Cut Out to Be Friends, so I really love the idea of one of the mice holding the scissors because it kind of goes along with that whole pun. So here I am layering some paper, pencil, and a cute little jar of glitter, and then we're going to add that right on to the table. And you'll see as I add things, I'll kind of shift things around. So I shifted that glitter so it was pointing the other way, just so that it would look a little bit more balanced. Now we talked about adding in other mice from other sets. So this is very special and this little mice is adorable because he's wearing overalls, which is just perfect for painting, right? So we're gonna add this cute little mouse to the front hill and he's gonna be holding a card as if he already created a card in this adorable craft room with his friends. So right here, you'll see, we're gonna add that cute little envelope to him and I think it just helps make the card. It just looks so cute. Then we're going to take some finished cards and put them at the bottom there, right? So it looks like they've been crafting all day, creating really adorable little cards. 
I'll add a little piece of twine there that would be perfect for tying a little present for someone or maybe a tag. And then we have that hill in the back. So what I'm gonna do for that one is just take those little kind of uh, pieces of cardstock that are layered together and layer those in the back. And that's gonna create some cool three-dimensionality and also really look like a real craft room where there's pieces of cardstock all over the floor. Uh, Cause that's definitely what mine looks like for sure. And now you can see how cute this is when you put it down. How fun is that? You can't see the critters at all. So it's a really big surprise when you push up from the bottom. So next up, we're gonna take the we are cut out to be friends sentiment and well, we're gonna cut it. So you'll see that it fits almost perfectly in that little rectangle that comes with the platform pop-up if you cut it right in half. So I'm doing some more stamp surgery here and we're just gonna cut that stamp set in half. That means that we'll be able to stamp it stacked or together because you could fit them right back together and have a nice long phrase as well. Now you'll see there that I first stamped it on white cardstock and it felt really plain because this is like a very busy card. So I thought let's kind of choose something else. So really rainbow has this really pretty lined paper that's in rainbow colors that coordinates perfectly. So I went ahead and used the six by six version which had tinier lines, stamped that out in some bubblegum ink and now we're gonna layer that right on the front and that's gonna be our sentiment for the card. And I feel like that matches a lot better the busyness and kind of uh, messiness of this adorable craft room. And so now our really cool interactive card is all done and you can fold it flat, put it in an envelope with standard postage. And the coolest part is when you push up from the bottom, you get the huge surprise of this adorable little craft room. It's so fun, so sweet. This pun would work great for a crafty friend, but really it would work for anyone because the pun is just so cute. I think it would make anybody smile. And it is so much fun to create a cool three-dimensional craft room like this for these adorable and fun mice. And I hope you guys have fun creating your own little craft rooms with this too. Next up, Shari is making an adorable shaker card with this set, so take it away, Shari! Hello, I'm making a shaker card today using the Just Add Glitter stamp set, as well as this cute little mouse in his overalls from the Berry Special. I've already colored and cut out my images with the coordinating dies. I have a piece of sticky note cardstock for my background, a guava cardstock stitched rectangular frame, and a piece of acetate. But before I assemble any of these pieces, I want to do some stenciling on my background. So I'm using the new Sunray background stencil. I've just taped it down and I'll just use some sunflower ink to ink up some fun sun rays coming up from the bottom center of my panel. And I'm not taking these all the way to the edge in the same darkness. I am making it a little bit darker where all the rays come together and trying to blend it out to nothing on the outside edge. And you can see I did put it up a little bit from the bottom. The bottom is going to get covered up with some cardstock. So I wanted to pull it up just a bit as much as I could to get more sun rays. And here is that inked background. And I'll just add some adhesive to the back of it and go ahead and put it onto a card base. Now for my stitched rectangular frame, I'm using the 1 8 inch double sided tape to put adhesive all the way around it. I feel like dry adhesive like this works best when using acetate. So I'm pulling the liner paper off all that that I used around the frame and then I will just lay my acetate on top of it. And now my cardstock is stuck down to my acetate. I'm just making sure it's stuck down really well using my bone folder. And you can see how that's going to layer over it. But before I get that far, I'm going to create the scene on the front of the acetate. So I'm using the All the Dots Petite Paper Pack. And I'm going to pull out these teal dots. And this is going to be my floor or my ground for my little mice to sit on. I'll be cutting this with that same stitch rectangle so that the inside piece left over fits perfectly inside my frame. And then I'm going to use one of the simple stitch hill sides to cut the top with that nice curve and stitching detail. And then I'm just adding some adhesive to the back of it and it's going to adhere right to the front of my acetate and fit perfectly inside that pink frame. Now I'm also going to go ahead and make my sentiment banner. So I'm going to white emboss the sentiment that says, when in doubt, just add glitter onto a piece of peacock cardstock. 
So I use clear embossing ink, my white embossing powder, and then I'll just heat this up with my heat tool till I get it nice and melted and you get that really bright white sentiment. And then I'm going to take a sentiment banner that fits these words and die cut this out. So I just have my sentiment sitting there as a placeholder and I can start to assemble my scene. So I went ahead and glued that table down right in the center. My little chairs are just sitting there as placeholders as well for the moment. And then I'm going to start decorating my little room with all the fun craft supplies. So we have these two sheets of paper. I'm putting those on the ground along with this twine. And then I've got, I'm not sure what's in this can. Glue? Spray? Not really sure. Um, and then, of course, the glitter. And I think it's really fun to kind of have the glitter turned on its side. I'm going to add some glitter stickles to this, like the glitter spilled out on the floor. Then, of course, we have our cute little glue bottle. And for these pieces, I'm using some liquid glue along with some adhesive runner because that's going to be on top of the acetate and I feel like that liquid glue doesn't really stick to the acetate quite as well. So I put a little liquid glue where it touches the table and then that dry adhesive where it's going to stick to the acetate. Now for my little mice, I'm just going to set them in their chairs before I place them onto the card. And that way I know the spacing and exactly what they're gonna look like sitting in their chairs. So I'm just putting some liquid glue along their bottom and their tail because it overlaps the chair. And then I can kind of see where I want this guy to go so I know where to put this mouse on the left. So again, just like the card and the glue, I'm adding some liquid adhesive just to the bottom of the legs, and then I'll use that adhesive runner on the top part. And then I also have some other little fun pieces here. I'm going to put this paintbrush in the hand of the little mouse here. And this one, in his overalls, I'm going to use some thin foam squares to just give a little bit of dimension and pop him up a bit. And then I'm going to add that little pencil to his hand. And then, of course, I have this ruler, which I'll add to the third mouse's hand. And then I have that little pair of scissors and I'm actually gonna just put those on the ground as well to kind of balance things out. These are some very messy crafters. I don't know if you're crafty or you're messy when you're crafty or not. <laughs> Sometimes I am. Now I'm using some really thin foam adhesive strips to put all the way around the frame. And this will create my box or my container for all my shaker bits to stay inside of. So now to fill it up with all those fun shaker things. So I have this sequin mix from Studio Katia that is some fun pastel colors, which I think goes really well with the colors in my images. And I'm just adding a pinch of that, a couple pinches actually. That's what the, the little measuring spoon that I'm using actually says pinch on it. So I'm adding a bunch of those because this whole front is a shaker, so I wanna make sure I have it nice and full. And I poured them out so I can make sure I get some of those little bitty bits in it with the big sequins as well. Then I like to add some seed beads as well. I think it moves things around a bit better. So these are just some clear seed beads with a little tiny bit of iridescent shine on them. And then finally, I'm going to add a smidgen of chunky glitter because this card says, when in doubt, just add glitter. So of course we need to add some glitter. And it is a smidgen. It actually says it on my, <laughs> on my spoon. So now I can make sure that everything's nice and cleaned off. I kind of wiped it so that whatever static's there 
will sort of go away. There's going to be static. It's going to stick. All that glitter is going to stick to the acetate, but I actually really like the look that you get when that happens. So I'm just pulling off the liner paper from all those pieces of foam. You'll see how all those sequins and stuff sort of jump up to the acetate. But this seals all that in when you shake it. That glitter sticks to the back of the acetate and I just think it's really fun because it almost makes it look like this is some kind of cool clear glitter paper. Then I added some foam to the back of my sentiment strip and I'll just put that right on the front of the acetate right up above. And then of course, as I said, these are some messy crafters. So I'm adding some stardust stickles to the glitter where it spilled out. They spilled some on the table too because glitter goes everywhere, am I right? And then this is my complete glitter shaker card. I think it's really fun with those bright pastel colors and I really like that new sun ray stencil in the background. It's just super fun. This shaker card is so cute and glittery and fun, Shari. I just love it. And next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And first up, this card by Grace is just gorgeous. I love those glittery stripes with her fun sentiment. Next up, we have a really beautiful card by Audrey. And I love how she used the I made this just for you sentiment with a giant thank you die. This shaker card by Maureen is so cute and fun. And I love that little mouse hanging, shaking glitter everywhere. It's just adorable. I love how Elise did something really cool. She stamped all the small icons to make her own pattern paper. She flipped the stamp over and she stamped with the back of the stamp to color in all of those images. And I think it is such a cool look and I can't wait to try it myself. This card by Kara is so cute and I love the you plus me equals craftastrophe, adorable and fun. This card by Callie is so pretty. I love the pink and that beautiful glittered word and that really cool floor that she created. I love how Elise took the shelf from Perfectly Wicked to create some really cool shelves, not only for her craft items, but also for some other items like that cool potted plant and some cards too. It makes the perfect little craft room. This card here combines our adorable Just Add Glitter Mice with some new products, our canvas and easel and art supplies dies and paint splatter stencil, and we'll be showing you those just a little bit later this week. This card here by Tammy is so fun. I just love this set with glitter shakers. It turns out so cute and I love that pink and yellow background she created. Here's the card by Elena that inspired us to make our card today. It's just so cute and sweet and I love the color palette. This card by Mindy is so fun. I love how she created those really cool ink blobs in the background. I love how Leticia used a monochromatic color palette with that beautiful gold and she created her own custom background which is just so fun. And I love how Lynette created a happy birthday card with this set and the craft supplies all scattered throughout the air is just so cute and sweet. So we cannot wait to see what you guys create with Just Add Glitter. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.